hello my friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching arsenal zero chelsea two and these are my five talking point talking point number one romelu lukaku number two romelu lukaku number three big rom number four bolingoli lukaku number five romelu lukaku Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay guys, all the jokes aside, Lukaku was the man. He attracted all the attention, but it was about the team. And Lukaku is very humble, man. Did you watch the interview after the game? He was talking all about the team. It's not about him. Individual performance is not um that important for Romelu Lukaku he just wanted to win the game that was the most important so we're gonna start by the first talking point which is going to be Romelu Lukaku of course what a performance even uh Karaga or you know all the pundits that don't really like Chelsea often they said that was a complete striker performance the guy was everywhere. He scored. He almost assist. He was fighting for the team, holding the ball, creating space. He did pretty much everything. So Lukaku, I haven't really seen any performance like that from any striker for the last few years. Yeah, you're going to tell me Lewandowski, Haaland, Benzema. But those people are not the people that would do everything that Lukaku did defensively and offensively. Talking point number two, Reese James, the king. The guy is back in business. You could tell he's hungry and angry. He want to prove people wrong. Last season, many assists were stolen from him because nobody to finish those chances. Today, he showed people that he can do even more. I was a little bit afraid with uh, the incident that happened but at the end it's all good king james is healthy and ready to kick some asses <laughs> Talking point number three, Manson Mount and Kai Harvard. Yeah, and be careful, Timo Werner, because you might lose your place, my brother. If you don't perform like them, and then I don't see you in the starting 11. So be careful, you have to fight for your place. Manson Mount, man, I'm so happy to see this boy getting better and better every time you bring somebody to compete with Mason Mount he is going to knock him down remember when Kai Harvard signed for Chelsea Football Club speculations on social media that Mason Mount is not happy he wanna leave Chelsea Football Club because of Kai Harvard what happened RKO yes you heard it he completely destroyed Kai Harvard. Now they are working together, but I'm telling you, if you can't see what Mason Mount is doing on that field, my brother, you are really sick. And let's talk about his brother, Kai Harvard. I'm afraid for people like um, Christian Pulisic, Timo Werner, and Kalim Hasunadoi because if Kai Harvard and Mason Mount continue. To perform very good like that with Romelu Lukaku, I'm afraid 
we're gonna just see Kalim Hassan Adoy or Timo Werner in league cups or something like that. But I just hope that um, Thomas Tuko can do the right thing, which is rotation. Rotation is the key for uh, a talented team like this to keep them hungry, happy, and ready for the next game. And I'm gone. Yeah. Because if I put my arm, there's rarely a center half in the league because I'm confident in my abilities that so there's you rarely in no you this position, you don't think any sense of No, if I hold you like this and I roll you like this, it's, it's finished. Let's go. Roll. And I'm gone. Yeah. Because if I put my arm, there's rarely a center half in the league because... Talking point number four. Edouard Mendy, the French and Senegalese Spider-Man. This guy, I don't care what you say, but this guy is the best in the world, you know, and that is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. And I don't care about people who say, oh, he can't save penalties, blah, 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 blah. Listen, penalties only happen like, you know, I don't know, after a couple years or after four or five years. Penalties don't happen every single time, okay? The majority of the games are just going to end at regular time. So I don't care about penalty shootout. I care about somebody who can stay focused during the game, who can save me uh, from those disasters. Look at the game against Arsenal. If Rob Holding scored that goal, or if the shot from, I don't know who, I don't know, Smith Rowe or whatever, if that shot went in, my goodness, the game was going to be completely different. You know what I'm trying to say here? This is the difference between spectacular saves and spectacular goals. You know, some, some goalkeepers are going to make those kind of short spectacular goals but for Mendy he will make them world-class saves can you see the difference and everybody was going to say listen you can't save that kind of shot it's unsavable no it's just because you don't know how to make a world-class save doesn't mean that uh, the shot was unsavable Mendy showed us over and over again for uh, from last season and he's continuing to show us this season. I think what, what he's done Lukaku last year particularly but in the last two or three years is he's really developed and I think Chelsea bought that player as a, as a youngster and it might, whether it was too early or whether he didn't get the chances I don't know but I, I love his attitude, I love the way he plays, I love the way he, uh, he's very determined. I, I remember training with him and him practicing his shooting and practicing trying to score goals like pretty much every day in training so I respect lads like that. I think he deserves the best. And I think if you're talking about Chelsea, if they're trying to, if, if Costa does move on and they want to get something like for like in the, in the, in the style of a big front man who scores goals, then Lukaku has proved he can do that. Tic tac. Tic tac. Tic tac. Talking point number five. Yes, we can. Yes, we can shoot the damn ball. You know what? I was very happy watching that that game because I saw people trying. Okay? Trying to shoot the damn ball. Lukaku tried maybe I don't know how many times. Kai Havert. Okay? Mason Mount. I saw even Kovacic trying to shoot. Jorginho trying to shoot. N'Golo Kante, the same. Everybody trying to shoot on target. Make no mistake, it's not every shot is going to be on target or is going to be a goal. But at least you freaking tried. Remember the goal that uh, Chaloba scored? If he didn't shoot the ball, okay, he was afraid that, uh, that uh, it was not going on target or it's too far. It wasn't going to be a golasso. You know what I'm trying to say? So just seeing my players trying so many shots on target many of them or the majority of them were off target or blocked but the most important is just to try 
just seeing that it just makes me happy because it's gonna work at some point this season we need goals from everywhere and the only way you can score goals is to try i was sick and tired of seeing my players trying very hard to walk with the damn ball to the net no sometimes you just have to try your luck